besides the couple of hours during which we have guests, there are also 22 hours in the day during which the private and intimate life of the house continues. Bring me my slippers. Yes, father, yes, father. Bring me my wine. Yes, father, yes, father. If you're not too busy fiddling with your incense and icons. No, father, no, father, and I have no Hurt you. I can hurt you. But I never, ever, ever, ever would. No, Father, I love you, Father. And time moves on. And my fate slips past. And nothing ever happens to me. And Count Disnatoya Rostova is coming for tea. Natasha is young and worthless and dumb. And so I moves on. And my fate sleeps past. Is this all I'll make of my life? Will I never be happy? Will I never be anyone's wife? Ah, uh, what's this? A young suitor, ah, come in, come in, but don't sit down, don't sit down, I'm cold to you, yes, I mean to you. Now be gone, be gone, be gone, and don't come back! Maybe I'll marry someone myself, some cheap French thing, oh, that offends you, does it? Ah, come in, my dear, come in, my dear, come in. And he draws her to him. Oh God, oh God, I'm frightened. Oh God, I've aged so very much. Where are my glasses? Where are my glasses? Where are my glasses? They are there upon his head. The Sacrifice gathers in my soul, and he forgets things. He falls asleep at the table, his napkin drops to the floor, his shaking head sinks over his plate. He is old and feeble. And I dare to judge him. I disgust myself. I disgust myself. May I present the Countess Natalia Rostova. Come in. Hello. And from the first glance, I do not like Natasha. Too fashionably dressed, frivolous and vain. Her beauty, youth, and happiness. My brother's love for her and my father. I do not weep. To see her. I know at any moment he might indulge in some freak. I'm sorry, the prince is still ailing. Songstress! I am not afraid of anyone. But such has 
hesitation, such unnatural manners. And from the first glance, I do not like Princess Mary. Too plain and affected, insolent and dry, I shrink into myself, assume an offhand air, which alienates me still more. This is Natasha, not much to look at, says the mean old man in his underthings. I never dress for children or peasants, says the mean old man in his underthings. And he looked at her once, had to tow. And left muttering, I must take my leave. Please wait, dear Natalie. I want you to know how glad I am my brother has found happiness. Is that the truth? I think it is not convenient to speak of that now, dear princess, she said, with such dignity and coldness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 